Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to my channel. I am Coach Sherry. I'm in my vehicle. So this is car chat and all that. Y'all, I don't know why, but my skin has been feeling so tight <laughs> first thing in the morning for some reason. But I just wanted to come on here. As you know, some of you know, some of you don't know, but in 2022, I was diagnosed with hypertropic obstructive my myop cardiomyopathy i don't even try to remember what it's called because i'm still in disbelief that that's me and when i was diagnosed my cardiologist told me to not work out anymore that i couldn't work out anymore most people with this heart challenge they don't find out they have it until they have a sudden heart attack and die. And when they do an autopsy, they identify that that person has this particular disorder. It is hereditary, quote unquote. And what it does is it makes your heart gets enlarged and it just keeps getting enlarged. It doesn't get smaller. Um, the only remedy is to have open heart surgery where they would cut off a part of my heart or have a heart ablation where they will um, cut off blood supply to a certain part of my heart so that it doesn't grow and shrivels up and I don't know where it goes. That's why neither one of those are options I want to to take on. Um, but I was told in 2022 not to work out. I can't lift any heavy items over like five to 10 pounds-ish. And um, I could still walk and, you know, do just light stuff. So I walk a lot anyways, and that's what I was doing. However, the medicine I take is... Um, it slows down my metabolism. And listen, if I ate differently, I definitely would have gained a lot more weight. But I have noticed that um, weight gain is definitely something that I have to, you know, be challenged with. And I refuse to gain weight and say, oh, it's, it's the medicine. I'm definitely, you know, getting on top of it as, you know, before it gets out of hand. And so my cardio specialist, cardiologist specialist, um, and I really enjoy him because I tell him all the time, listen, I need to live. I have a lot to do. I love what I do. And I have a lot still to, to accomplish. So please, you know, what, what we got to do. And, um, and I'll tell him when they change my medicine and if it doesn't feel right and I go back, I'll be like, yeah, no, I stopped. I stopped doing that because, it, you know, and, and he'll just look at me like, all right. And, you know, I, don't, I know he won't let me go down too far that rabbit hole, but he definitely lets me, you know, have a hand in my care. And so um, my last visit, you know, he told me that he wanted me to start working out a little bit. He said he wants to see if my heart issues are, you know, having some changes because is, is it because I'm not doing anything or is it because I am doing something? So they want to try to, you know, gauge it in that way. So this was a little while ago when he suggested that I start doing some more, you know, more cardio. And I always loved the elliptical machine. That has always been, I mean for the past 26, 27 years, that has been my thing. And I missed it. I really did. So I was putting it off. You know, my fear is to have a sudden heart attack. I, I That's like one of my biggest things. And I always, and you know, I'm always here, faith over fear, faith over fear. And I do, I have more faith over my fear, you know, more faith than fear. But I don't want to put myself in a situation where I'm escalating it on, you know, like, because of something I'm doing. And so I have been putting off working out because I'm just like, you know, I don't know how it's going to hit, you know, and I don't know. I, I just, yesterday I bit the bullet and I went to the gym and I have a gym in the building where my office is. And listen, y'all, it's only 50 cents a, a week. <laughs> so what's that? $2 a month. And it's a great gym. So I went to the gym yesterday in um in the late afternoon and I am you know I've never been inside to work out so I don't know I know you know quite a few people say they work out some don't I don't know but I know it's hit or miss in terms of sometimes the gym might be empty sometimes it might be full 
And today there were, well, yesterday there were a couple of people already there. And then one person walked up to me that I know and have known. And is, is James, if you're watching, I just want to tell you, thank you. You were definitely a sight for, I'm not going to say sore eyes, but for eyes. Because, you know, if something were to jump off, to jump down, to happen, I definitely would prefer it to happen if I'm around people that I know. Because even if they don't know my situation, they know me. And, you know, I just know that I would be taken care of. And so, James, I just want to let you know if you're watching um, that, you know, having you in the gym yesterday was a comfort <laughs> to me because it was my first time in two years working out and I just didn't know how it was going to hit. And I did it, you know, I'm I'm easing into it. I probably shouldn't have been on the elliptical as long as I was. I was on for 20 minutes. And as you can see from the thumbnail, and it went well, you know, it really went well. I felt good afterwards. You know, I felt okay. Let me tell you though, no, I'm not going to say that. The first minute I looked, it was 59 seconds. I was like, uh-oh a toe <laughs> hold on <laughs> and it wasn't like in terms of my breathing it was my body my knees my legs I was like hold on but it worked out and my breathing actually was okay I felt okay like my chest didn't get tight I didn't feel like I had a shortness of breath I just had my music on and I was going at a very slow pace level one and I did it so I'm going to continue to do it and then when I go back to my doctor and, you know, get my test, I have to get these, um, you know, a series of tests done a few times a year and we'll measure and, and compare. And hopefully me doing this is not, you know, making things worse. Hopefully, if anything, it's just staying the same. You know, it's not going to get better, but at least let it stay the same. And that's my hope. And on top of that, maybe, I don't know, shed a few pounds along the way. Um, But I'm okay, you know, in terms of my weight. I, I almost literally been this weight for a long time. I mean, my kids say they don't remember me looking any other way. <laughs> Which I'm like, hmm, is that a good thing or a bad thing? They always say, you and dad have looked the same our whole lives. What? Okay, I guess. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to come and share that with you. But if you are challenging or, or have medical challenges, health challenges, before you venture off and do anything that you feel like, you know, but I've always done this or whatever, make sure your medical provider gives you the green light. Don't just jump in. You know, I know sometimes I could definitely be um, very stubborn or um, <laughs> I feel like low-key I'm a doctor since I had taken care of my mother, you know, when she lived with ALS and I did so much with regarding medical. I took care of her ventilator, her trachea, her feeding tube, her medicine, her baths, her hair, her bedding, everything. And so you can't tell me I'm not low-key a doctor, but I do know my place and I do have respect for doctors. I just know that oftentimes doctors will try to treat you like you are a cookie cutter, you know, like you're just standard. And I tell them all the time, I'm custom. I'm a custom built and you have to treat me as such. That roof, I have a different roof on me. I have different insides. My my um piping is different. So treat it as such. Don't treat me like the houses next door because it's not like that. And I find that when you do more customized work for yourself, that things work out better. Things just work out better. So come along with me on my journey as I start doing my elliptical. I'm going to try and do it at least no less than three days a week. And, you know, what's 20 or 30 minutes, three days a week? That's nothing. I already walk a lot, you know. I enjoy walking outside in particular. So that's why I like the elliptical for the inside. I don't typically like, um, I don't know why my eye is doing that, but I don't typically like to, um, you know, do the treadmill on the inside because it to me is boring. Now the elliptical is, you know, like that, but it's just so many different movements that you're doing while you're doing the elliptical. And I'm feeling like the elliptical is going to do almost a 
I don't want to call it total body workout, but kind of because you're moving your arms and, you know, moving other muscles that in different ways that you don't typically. So I'm excited to see, you know, where this is going to go. But I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for tuning in and listening to this. I hope I was able to give you a nugget or two. It's hot in here. We're about to go. And again, stay safe and remember practice, practice every single day. You just never know. And when you get in, you will always win. I am Coach Sherry.